time Armageddon in movies, television, and yes, even comic books. They produce, write, direct, make music, and have been known to act. And they, like you, are fans. Their work has been inspired by the passion they have for the stories of their youth, and their influences continue to inspire their current work, which is helping to lead us into the future of entertainment. Don't you think it would be cool if, like, J.J. Abrams and Joss Whedon, like, teamed up and, like, made a movie or a TV show? Well, they're not. But I say we bring them out here and bully them into it. Please welcome to the stage J.J. Abrams and Joss Whedon. Something was real they didn't expect, and 
since I didn't really want to become a professional magician, uh, although I'm certainly debating it still, uh, the idea of sort of writing seems, I guess, like a filmmaking, so sort of a natural progression, and uh, another option to do sort of the same thing in a different way. Now, I, I just want to, not to bring up Drew Goddard again, but he and Brian K. Vaughn were having an argument about whether comic book nerds or magic nerds were more pathetic. And I, I you know, where do you stand on that? Are you uh, well, I mean, the honest answer is, I could, you could make a joke, I could say magic nerds, you know, but uh, I think honestly that neither are really pathetic, but I, I think really magic nerds. Yeah. <laughs> well, Brian also wore a cape. When he did his, did you wear a cape? I didn't wear a cape. I okay, then you're cool. And I always wanted the top hat. Never had one of those. Okay. Yeah. Uh, speaking of being a comic book nerd, Joss, you uh, should, should we wake everyone up first? Wake up! Sorry. No, no, no. Just, I didn't know if we'd bored you today. No, they're into it. They're totally into magic nerd stories. Uh, Joss, you're uh, superhero comics, comic books of all stripes, very important to you. Um, and now you are now directing probably one of the most eagerly anticipated superhero movies ever, The Avengers. Um, is that true? That, that is, that is, that is not, not, not an official thing. Um, so, uh, because I think Marvel couldn't afford like a press release. So can I just make that an official thing? I'm directing The Avengers. That is the most underrated, overlooked uh, piece, I think, in the whole Marvel Universe. JJ, were you into like, superhero comics at all? Is that like, a, a big touch uh, for you? I, I was, but uh, not as much as, uh, as Josh, but you know, I worked at a comic book store when I was a kid. One of the first jobs I had, and I was like, you know, just 15 years old, and I got a job at, and in this store in LA, and the, guy, the first day on the job, the guy who's a really weird dude who owned the store, uh, I, I don't know what he was on, but he gave me the keys and he's like, I'll, I'll be back because I'll see you tomorrow. And he left. And I was like alone in the store with the keys. I, he didn't even tell me how to lock the, the door. So uh, I kind of wanted to steal some of the older Spidey books that were there and I, I didn't do it. I probably you know, should have done it. But uh, so I, I, I would read books, you know, there and I got into it. But I was never into it. I was more like into the Twilight Zone and more uh, TVs and, TV and movie stuff. At one point, you did write a script for a Superman movie. Um, it didn't get uh, made. It's very well received. <laughs> <laughs> but is that a genre that you'd be interested in returning to, like uh, superheroes, or is that sure? Yeah, of course, sure. I'd, I'd be open to anything for sure. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Uh, Joss, is it too early to talk about kind of like what your take is on on the Avengers? Uh, even if you could just sum it up in a line. Or... To have a take? Yeah, can, it's, 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 it's helpful when you're a director to have a kind of a take on it. Okay. Um, it is a little early. Um, you know, we're, it's it's. I am still writing an outline. I'm still very. You know, I'm still in that stage of reworking and reworking and reworking it. Um, I will say that the thing that I love about it, the thing that made me excited to do it, was just how completely counterintuitive it is. It makes no sense. These people should not even be in the same room let alone on the same team. And that, to me, is the very definition of family. 